Hey guys, this is Look at This Lag Row, and today I'm bringing you a pretty special commentary and gameplay because I'm only using a secondary here, the TAC 45, and I end up getting 79 kills in this game. I cut out the first part of the gameplay because I didn't start off too hot, but I started here and I get two VSATs, two dogs, and two swarms, and that's really the bottom line of this game. This gun is just better than most primaries in this game, it has better range, better damage, and better accuracy, and it really beats out any gun in a gunfight. And again today, I am commentating beside one of my friends, so without further ado, I would like to let him introduce himself to you. Hello, my Call of Duty aficionados. My name is XTKL Savage, and I am honored to be commentating alongside Look at this lag bro. He's a pretty good COD player in a very entertaining commentator and uh, today what I got the commentary topic I have for you guys is why do we continue to buy Call of Duty and Call of Duty the way I look at Call of Duty is this franchise started and it got popular in COD 4 and COD 5 those games obviously were the two best CODs because they had the least bullshit they had the most basic game but now Going on to MW2, Black Ops 1, MW3, and Black Ops 2. Progressively, the games have gotten worse and worse each year. But we still buy the games, regardless of how bad they are. I mean, if you think about it, in MW3, right after it was released, everyone was saying how bad it was. And how they said how they were never going to buy another Call of Duty game. And they were never going to buy Black Ops 2. Well, name me one person that followed through with that statement. I doubt you'll, I doubt you'll can name any. Thank you, that was a very good point right there. Honestly, a lot of people thought Modern Warfare 3 was just awful. And yes, like XTKL Savage said, they just they swore they were not going to buy it again. But what do you know, they just keep buying it. The reason that people really keep buying Call of Duties is because World at War and Modern Warfare, Call of Duty 4 and 5, gave the Call of Duty franchise a good reputation. Because they were really good basic games that you didn't need to try as hard as you could to really do good in it because the kill streaks were really basic and you really could you didn't like dogs and swarm in this game get you more kills than you'll get with your gun and in modern warfare and call of duty 5 world of war the kill streaks really only got you like a few kills and that you didn't like rely on them to get you you know 100 plus gameplays and stuff like that that you do in this game and in this game really this game of Modern Warfare 3 rewards bad players because of the dead man's hand and the death streaks in Modern Warfare 3. They were just you that's really the epitome of rewarding bad players because you're really you're rewarding them for dying. So I don't understand why that's even fair. You get a nuke when you die, which is stupid. And in this game, you could just sit back with a wild card with with Blind Eye, Ghost, and Cold-Blooded, and you could just use a target finder on an LMG, lay in the back of your spawn, and just aim down the target finder, and, and you could just shoot people across the map, really. Yeah, and uh, just going off of what he said, you guys know that, uh, look at this lag, bro, he, you just by his rants, you could tell he obviously rages pretty hard, and I too, I myself also rage pretty hard, and I don't rage at the fact that I'm doing bad, I rage at the fact that why I do bad, why I get killed off streaks, why I get killed by campers in the back with target finders, why I get drop shotted by level 18 kids who just bought the game, why I get freaking grenaded across the map and C4 off B flag. I don't rage because I'm not good at the game, I rage because I die by the dumbest things that you could possibly die from. And I don't know if it's just me, I know look at this lag where also dies from quite a bit of bullshit, but it's really getting to the point that I almost just want to stop playing Call of Duty and just wait for the next one and see how that goes because this game is just horrible. And David Vonderhaar, that guy is just an idiot. I mean, he sucks at the game. And he, and the only way he changes the game is based off what he finds by him playing the game. He sucks at the game. He gets killed by Swarm, Dogs, Load Stars. So what does he do? No, he doesn't, he doesn't patch Target Finders. He doesn't patch shotguns. He patches swarms and he patches load stars to make them worse because he doesn't want to be keep dying from them. And he just hates. He doesn't listen to the community. He doesn't listen to all the good players. He all he all he wants to do is cater to the bad players to make them continue to buy the game. 
And that's just the bottom line. Yeah, thank you. That was a really good point right there. Vonderhaar sucks at this game, and I even watched a clip of a vi of a YouTube video that he got commando lunch, and he, at his own game, he raged at his own game, and he's like, wow, what the fuck did I just do? This game just sucks. And that's pretty much what he, what he was thinking after he died. But why would you patch the things that take skill to get, like the swarm and dogs? You should be rewarded highly for getting, like, 1,600 points in a row. And that, that's really tough to get, especially since this game sucks. And then, on top of that, you don't patch the target finders and the shotguns like XTKL Savage said. You could just run around with a shotgun and ruin everyone's kill streak and ruin everyone's day, really. The reason, the thing that compelled me to do a, do try to get a lot of kills with this gun is I really, I saw people running around with this only, and it was really stupid how I kept dying from it. So I'm like, here, why don't I just, if I can't beat him, I might as well just join him. And what do you know, I put this gun on and it ends up being like the best gun in the game. So I'm just going to tell you guys, it does take skill to use this gun. Because, obviously, it's a single-fire weapon, and you have to have a good trigger finger to use it. But, then again, you have you can just, like, spray with it. And that's the bottom line with this gun. It's really good. It has, like, the highest damage, really, in the game, I would think. Because it only takes two shots to kill. And no other gun in the game takes two shots to kill. But, you know, Vondahar, he could just... Kind of just want to stick a knife in his head. And, like, cut off some of that bald fat. And just, like... Put it in his mouth and see how his fucking mind tastes. Because it's really stupid. His mind probably tastes really bad because he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing here. Yeah, and uh, that's actually a really funny point. Um, uh, you guys saw Look at this Lagros emblem a couple of videos ago as we were, as the, we were, he posted the uh, Broken Lobby video. And that uh, emblem is actually David Monahar. And you can see he's an ugly, uh, ugly bald nerd who looks like a fucking creep. And he just sits on a game all day long, and he plays this game. And instead of maybe patching the game for to either help better players or at least keep better players good, he decides to make better players worse. And this just is really this this is just causing the Call of Duty franchise to just deteriorate just day by day. I mean, more the more and more video YouTube videos I watch, the more and more people I hear saying that they want to. Stop playing COD, they hate COD, that's just it. And the, the real thing about this is, going back to when we were talking about in the beginning, how the, the newer Call of Duty games are not as good, the reason that is, is because Call of Duty 4 and Call of Duty 5 made such a good impression, they worked so hard on making those games good, that, like, year by year, every year, uh, they don't, they don't put as much effort into the game, to making the game, because they know you're gonna buy it anyway, so... Why put extra effort into the game when you know you're going to buy it anyway? You just keep raising the price of the game, and it just keeps getting worse. And that's the bottom line of this. And really, there's no reason to keep buying Call of Duty games because they all suck. This game, I get like 1 out of 10 good games and just get killed by stupid shit every time. Yeah, that, that's a really good point. I mean, this commentary is going to be wrapping up, so... So that, uh, look at the slag we'll wrap it up real quick. Thank you guys for watching this. We end up winning this game, and thank you for XTKL Savage for yeah. being here. Thank you guys for